Springtime is springing around our homestead. And so we are getting things ready for the spring garden this year. All right, there's a pea. Peas are coming up, so that is good. This one was the crazy one. This one literally sprouted the day after I planted them. And that is completely unheard of for peas. The rest of them are more like this. There's one. Here's a spinach that I planted last fall. And there are a handful of them. And they're just starting to get growing because the weather is starting to be warm enough for them. So those have a nice head start. Now we have garlic growing. This garlic was growing. This garlic came up in the fall. And I can't remember. I think this I think this might be the hard neck garlic. And then these little ones I think might be the soft neck garlic. I have about twice as many of these ones planted. In which case I think actually these might be the hard neck. And these might be the soft neck. Anyways, we'll see. One will grow scapes and one will not. All right, here is some kale that survived the winter. I went ahead a few weeks ago and covered it with this, like a little, like a little cloche. Now I'm gonna show you what my favorite protection is for small leafy greens like this to keep the chickens off of them and keep any wild rabbits off of them. These are the $1 trash cans from some kind of dollar store. They are just perfect for this. They also will keep the cabbage moths and butterflies off of these plants as well. I just stake them into the ground with either sticks or stakes to get them to, so that they don't tip over. I bought some plant starts from the nursery. I got some broccoli and some Brussels sprouts and some cabbages. And I'm getting those into the ground right now and mulching them with some old hay from the cows. I did my best last fall to get the whole garden covered with leaves. I'm the crazy lady who drives around neighborhoods and picks up bags of leaves that people put out for trash collection. And I spread those over my whole garden. And now, now I'm needing to pull back any of the leaves on top that are uncomposted and pull them back into the aisles and get ready for planting. And I'm laying down some hay that, that, that will act as my mulch for this year. One reason is just so visually I can see where my planting beds are as I get ready to plant things. We are still a month out from our last annual frost date, but we're just getting things ready so that we can be all set to go as soon as we are all clear to plant our summer crops. I continue to not be sorry about any of the bulbs that I planted in the fall. We've been enjoying the daffodils, all different kinds of daffodils. And I had tulips come up as well, which I actually didn't think my tulips would come up because we have a real issue with some underground moles or voles or something like that. The cows are really happy that the grass has started growing again this spring. We've been working on getting posts up all over the place to get them out onto parts of the property where we haven't ever had them before. Did you eat the dandelion? Was that yummy? So here's the line between the two paddocks where I I just let them out here this morning. And you can see they've been back here already. And this is where they were yesterday and the day before. And so then they eat it all down. It prevents overgrazing any areas of the pasture and leads to soil growth. Here is a cow patty that the cows dropped last fall. And you see immediately around it is green, tall grass. There's a patty in the middle of lush green grass. So one of the reasons we got the Delaware chickens, they're gonna be our chicken tractor chickens and their job is to go behind the cows after the cows have been through and scratch through this and spread this so that it's not just in one spot 
it's it's spread around so those chickens will be a symbiotic part of our system here in the pasture the last couple of weeks have been just beautiful and we are enjoying the spring we're so happy to be getting back outside again we're getting sun-kissed cheeks and arms and we're just enjoying all the things that our that our homestead has to offer us These are some of the pickles that I canned from our garden last summer. And I was kind of annoyed because I had let this cucumber grow too big. And so it made these really big fat slices. But then one of my kids said they would be perfect for hamburgers. So that's what we're gonna use them for today.